after you have completely filled your ring with string and loops, it should look exactly like this. You've got your shuttle attached to the ring by a piece of string, and you have a second piece of string coming over here. This was your beginning. This was the ending. Now you're ready to finish the last loop on the first row. So use the movable post in the most rearmost position, lay the ring over it, and I tie a half knot to lock all of the clove hitches in place, pull it down good and tight, and then I tie a square knot out around the rear fixed peg. This is the last loop on the first row. Okay, that completes the first row. Now I'm ready to start the second row. So I lift all this off, move my peg out one, replace my ring over the peg. Now you want your string on the shuttle on the right hand side if you're right handed. And that's where this one is. If it's not, you can just turn it over. So mine is on the right hand side and I'm going to the right and I'm right handed. So we're going to take the first loop to the right of the string, the knot we just tied. I'm going to come up through that loop. Now this is the hardest row to do because this row, that first row is tight because it's only a half a mesh deep. Pull it snug, hold it between your thumb and forefinger, and lift it off the peg. Then I lay the string out around my wrist, like that, and come up behind the two strands that I'm holding but in front of the string that I just laid out there. That forms a knot called a sheet band. Now you want to hold your thumb and forefinger good and tight and let that knot form between the thumb and finger. If it slips down here, you're going to have a slip knot that will slide up and down on this loop. And that's not good. That's not what we're looking for. Pick up the next loop to the right. Come up through the loop with a shuttle. Pull it snug. Hold it with the thumb and forefinger so it doesn't slip. Lift it off the peg. Lay the loop out around your wrist and come up behind the two strands that you are holding but in front of the string you just laid out there. Now I'm going to do this three or four times and then I'll show you another way to do exactly the same thing. That may be a little bit easier. This way is faster because everything is done in one motion. You pick up the loop, your shuttle comes up through it, you hold it, lift it off, lay it out around your wrist, and come up behind the two that you're holding, but inside of the loop you just made. Now that's easy enough to do. Now I'm going to show you a different way to accomplish exactly the same thing. Maybe a little easier. Start off exactly like you did with the other one. If, you, if your string kinks on you, twist the shuttle in your hand in the direction that unkinks it. Come up through the loop and pull it snug. You hold that, hold that junction, and lift it off the peg. Push your shuttle up through behind the two strands you're holding and then pick up the string that goes to the shuttle and lay it over the top of the shuttle. Then pull the shuttle through. That may be easier than laying it across your wrist. Now I'm going to do this three or four times. Go through, lift it off, and then come up behind the two that you're holding, and wrap the string around the shuttle, and pull it through. That knot's called a sheet band. Make sure the knot forms between the thumb and forefinger. This isn't quite as fast as the first way I've done it, but I believe it's easier to remember. Sometimes these, these little loops will curl up on you. You have to be careful to get them straight. There, and lay the 
the string around the shuttle. And pull it through. Oop, I made a mistake with that one. Okay, it's no problem. You just untie the knot that you did. I went through the wrong way. There's the shuttle. Now, now, let's do it again. This time we'll do it the right way. Up through the ring. Hold it, lift it off. Up through there. Pick up that string and lay it around it. Pull a little string off the shuttle. Pull it tight. Through there. That's easy enough, isn't it? Now, this is the hardest row to do because everything is so tight. All right, now I'm going to go back to doing it the way that I started. That's the way I like to do it because it's faster. Okay, here we go. Around the wrist, up through behind the two you're holding. Around the posts, up through the ring, up through the loop. Lay it across your wrist. Come up behind the two that you're holding. Through the loop. Around the peg. Hold it. Lift it off. Behind the two. Pull it snug. Okay, you continue that until you get all the way around to the string that you started with, which is right there. It's only three, four way. We'll keep on doing. We're doing this on the lawn at Dogwood Harbor, and that's traffic around the harbor that you hear. Okay, got two more to do. And that will complete the second row. Then when I reach the string that I had where I start when I started the second row, you pick up that string and tie a square knot or a flat knot out behind the post. Okay, now we've got to move everything out one. I'm going to move that out one. Now, my shuttle is on the left side. I'm right-handed. I want to go right-handed. So we turn this over. Okay. Come out behind the post, up through the loop. Now, this is larger this time because, see, I've got a full mesh there. 